began, we started the campaign with a, a pretty comprehensive victory over the Faroe Islands. What was the feeling after that match? And obviously you scored two goals yourself. Pretty mixed emotions, to be honest. Um, obviously we got the, the campaign off to the start that we really wanted to get the three points on the board. But I think just losing the two late goals kind of put a dampener on it a little bit. But Anna spoke to us about it and just kind of told us to get our heads up and we got off to the start that we needed. So uh, start looking forward to the next game. We're playing the, the bottom two seeds in the in the group in the first two matches, Faroe Islands first and then Bosnia on Thursday. Is it important to get off to a good start and really win these kind of matches? Absolutely. I mean, if you start off um, on poor form, then you're chasing right away. So to get the points on the board is the main thing. And there's no easy games in international football. So, Do we know much about Bosnia? Is, is that a te Are they a team that we know much about? I'm sure the staff have been doing their work. Um, we obviously concentrate as players on one game at a time. Um, but we'll go into team meeting tonight and we'll be training today and I suppose we'll find out a lot more about them as the, the day goes on. Does it make it a little bit more difficult playing a side that, you, that you've never faced before? It does, but we are always well prepared for every single game. We know exactly who we're going to face, who their danger players will be um, and we work on that at training so we know exactly what to expect. So it shouldn't be too much of a surprise. You scored two goals yourself on Sunday and, and the, the goals kind of came from all over the pitch. Is that important going forward? Definitely. I mean, it's, it's kind of been in the past we've maybe relied on the likes of Julie Fleet in or Kim Little to score the goals in the team. Jane Ross has been putting a few in as well. So to come up with goals from throughout the team is much better. We've got an attacking threat from everywhere. Obviously for yourself, there's a lot of big matches coming up. Champions League for Glasgow City, World Cup qualifiers. Are you looking forward to that? How do you deal with that, working full-time and, and playing so many big matches? It's difficult trying to balance work and football, but as I said, we've just got to focus one game at a time. If we start to look ahead, that's when the wheels start to come off and you lose points, you lose games. So it's definitely one game at a time. So I'm not even thinking about club football at the moment. I'm with the national team, so focus is on Bosnia. Thank you.